Hey, what's up guys? So they have finally released a new faction in tabs and it is the Renaissance faction or Renaissance depending on where you're from and how you pronounce it. But they do have a campaign for it. As you can see, they've got all of these missions, which I'm looking forward to doing, but we're not going to be doing these in this video today. Today, we're just going to be doing the sandbox mode, looking at the new units, and then seeing what fun battles we can come up with for them. So don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any future awesome content, including the new campaign. So let's get into it. So let's go to sandbox. I'd assume it's right down at the bottom. It is. And off we go. Let's have a little look at the map first before we look at the units. It's it's not a bad map. It's quite nice. I mean, it's all right. It's, it's not as pretty as some of the other ones. I've, I still prefer one of the... Is it Ancient 2, my favourite one? I think that's my favourite one. Because it's a much more open area. With this one, if you want to see any battles happening right down low, you're going to have to get in there with it. But it's an all right map. I'm kind of interested in the, in the balconies because, by the looks of it, there are stairs. Which means we might be able to put units on the balconies. So that should be quite fun. But, let's check out the units. So what have we got? Oh, that's the other thing. The next update that they're bringing out, which should be next month, will be the pirate update. So that one I'm really looking forward to. I can't wait for that one. I absolutely love pirates. So that'll be really cool. But let's check out these units. So what have we got? Let's uh, zoom in so we can look at them as we place them. So we've got the Painter. Okay, he, he looks quite cool. I'm kind of interested in what he actually does. Like, does he attack or is he going to be as useless as the cheerleaders were? Well, we'll see. We'll see when we get started on him. Next up, we've got the Fencer. That one should be quite cool because obviously the whole point of fencing is agility and skill rather than just brute force. So that should be quite a fun one to test out. Then we have got the Balloon Archer. Okay. I'm hoping that's going to be as good as the Firework Archers. Because I'm really looking forward to that one. If it is, that will be my new favourite unit. Definitely looking forward to that. And then finally, we have the first gun. The first proper gun put into it with the Musketeer. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's just a gun, really. I'm glad they finally put a gun in. But, yeah, I was expecting it with this update, them to finally put a gun in. Then we've got the Halberd. Halberd? I don't know how to pronounce that. Never heard of it before. But it's basically like the Executioner, by the looks of it. I don't know if it'll be as good or as useless as the Executioner. Because the Executioner looked amazing. Absolutely useless, though. And then we've got the Jowstar. Okay. That that looks awesome. That looks absolutely awesome. We're going to have a lot of fun with the Jowstar. I can tell you that right now. Definitely going to have fun with him. And then we've got the Da Vinci Tank. Now, obviously, everyone knows who Da Vinci is. Absolute genius. You know, he's still one of the top genius level people of all time. You know, so... Let's have a look at it. That looks awesome. And that is a lot of cannons. Holy crap. Let's get a better look at that. <laughs> look at all of those cannons. That's awesome. Well, just quickly. We'll just see what they all do if we just do a massive clusterfuck of them, basically. Let's just click start and just let's see what happens. Holy sh... No. That's not fair. You can't have that. Look at that balloon just going around on it. What the hell is that? Surely that tank is just invincible. Surely. Like, how do they kill that thing? That is insane. That is so cool. Look at how fast it shoots. And the tank one. We put in all the other units. And the tank one. Can we go inside? Oh. I think we can. Is that Da Vinci right there? That is. That's Da Vinci. That's awesome. Um, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Uh oh. There we go. I got out. That is an absolute powerhouse of a unit. That is crazy. 
Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to save that one till last. We didn't really get to see what the others did. They just got annihilated too fast. So, for starters, let's do 1v1 of each type. So let's do the painter first. Let's see what they actually do. And we'll do it in slow motion. Check it out. They look kind of cool. They really do. Um, quite useless though. Since they both just missed. And I think they both just missed again. Seriously guys. I'm trying to work out if they count as a shield unit. Because technically that could work as a shield the pallet. And they are useless. Okay. That's quite cool. You actually see the paint fly up. And that's even better because it actually looks like blood if the red one attacks. That's quite cool. Okay, the, the paint is actually quite cool. Just misses the attacks a lot. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the fencer then. Let's go. Let's see what they do. We'll slow it down. Check them out in slow motion. And it's over. Even in slow motion, it's just straight up attack. Okay. Um... 10 on each side. Let's go. Let's do 10 on each side. <laughs> That's awesome. Who's actually come off best in that? Red. Red have definitely come off best. Wow. Okay. So very fast attacks. I don't really know what damage level they do yet. Because obviously they've just gone up against themselves. So if they do quite a bit of damage with those fast attacks. They could be a, a very good unit to use. Pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. Um, we're going to skip the balloon archer because I have a feeling that's going to be quite fun. I really do have a good feeling about the balloon archer. Uh, if it's anything like the firework archer, it's going to be amazing. So, now we've got the musketeers. Who won? Red. Red won, apparently. They both fired. They both got shot. But somehow, red won. Is that the uh, bullet there? That is. Does he have one? Or Yep, he does. It's there. No idea how it decided that red won that. That's crazy. I, d I don't really know what to say about it. Let's do five versus five. See how that goes. Let's go. Red one again. I, I don't know. It happened so fast. We'll go one more time. And this time we're going to try and slow it down in time. If we do G, that is super slow motion. I think that might be too slow, though. Are they going to fire? The anticipation is killing me. Come on. I think that might be too slow. I went into normal slow motion. Red one again, but you still don't really see what happens. That's just crazy. I, I don't get it. I have no idea what happened with all that. Let's just move on from them, because that's confusing me. So now we've got these guys. I'm not going to try pronouncing their name again. I don't know what it is. Are they going to be useless or... Well, they both hit, I think. Eh, another basic unit with an axe, basically. It's not anything special with those ones. But now we should get into the fun one. We're going to set these further apart. Make it look like a proper jousting tournament. There we go. Let's go. They actually move quite fast. I like the fact that they basically kick themselves in the face, though, the horses. And somehow Red won. Red did... Oh, I think Red hit his foot and killed him. Well, that's just really sad. Let's go again. Let's see if Blue can do it this time. Oh. Well, Red's off his horse, which means it should be a win for the Blue. In jousting tournaments, you knock a guy off the horse. Automatic win. And you get the horse if he isn't dead, but that one's dead, so you don't get the horse. No. But he didn't actually hit him, he just mowed him down on the horse. But at least Blue finally won. They're not bad units, I reckon they could be quite fun in big groups of people. So now we've got the choice. Balloon Archer or the Da Vinci Tank. It's got to be the Da Vinci Tank first. I'm definitely saving that Balloon Archer till last. Well, this is just going to be an absolute mess. Let's go. <laughs> Look at it. What the hell? They're just bombarding each other. I'm loving the fact that it lifts up like that. And I just took control of Blue. And I won. I didn't mean to take control of him. 
That was a massive error on my part. But it won. We'll go again just to see what happens. I like that first initial shot that they do. They just get that first initial shot off and then all of a sudden, just all guns blazing. So I think they actually killed the other Da Vinci inside, maybe. Did he actually get hit by a ball? I think he did. I think he got hit by a cannonball. And I think that's what killed him. So that's a bit of a design flaw in Da Vinci's tank. The top opening up like that. But hey, that's how it goes. But now for the fun part. The balloon archer. Please be good. If I've saved you to last, please be good. Okay. They're just floating there. Wait, they could still shoot while floating? That's awesome. He missed though. But he died from the fall. Okay. Might be better than the firework archer. I think one-on-one -on -one fireworks much better. The Just the way they fly around is just insane. But I think against the big units, these could be more fun. Because obviously I spent ages trying to get things to fly like the mammoth. And the mammoth never flew. It just kept flapping its head around like absolute crazy. So I think they could actually maybe make the mammoth fly. So now that we've tested them all out, let's do it. Let's see how many balloon archers can make a mammoth fly. Let's get our mammoth. We've got 10 balloon archers. Let's just go back to that because I, I have a feeling I'm going to have to put in a lot more. But let's go. I mean, it is lifting his face up. It's not really... No, that's not enough. There's no point watching the end of the fight. Which This is just an experiment. Let's do 20. Can 20 make the mammoth fly? <laughs> Look at his head for lifted up. That's awesome. I think they almost got him then, though. I think we might have to upgrade to 40. Let's go. Let's upgrade to 40. Come on. I've got to make this mammoth fly. There you go. Go on. Oh, come on. Go on. He's almost off the ground. Please. They killed him. Maybe he can't make the mammoth fly then. Maybe the mammoth is just too heavy. Let's put in... We'll do 70. I think it's going to kill him though before it makes him fly. But let's go. No, I think we've got him. We've got him. He's going to die, but we've got him. We've made the mammoth fly. Finally, we have a flying mammoth. Finally. Look at all of these arrows. Okay, I'm loving these balloons. Look at that mammoth fly. Holy crap. That is a lot of archers that did that, though. Right. I suppose we have to test this out now, then. 70 balloon archers, one Da Vinci tank. Let's go. Well, they can make the tank fly by the looks of it. The tank actually still got a shot off on them, though. That's awesome. And it finally died. But you can make the tank fly. Is that... I think that's what this video is just going to become, is what can I make fly? It's just going to be a will it fly video. What else is there? What else is really fun that we can make fly? Uh, not, not going into secret yet. We'll do secret last. Is there anything else that could be fun? We'll try that. I don't really want to keep using 70 of them because they kill it too fast. Let's reduce it down to uh, 30. Let's do 30. Yeah, that flies easily. Look at it go. Well, that's gone. And down it comes. Look at the others flying up. They caught it, though. Mid-air. Mid-air, the balloon guys caught it. That doesn't need that many balloons, though. Look at it just going up and down. Well, the boat's finally down. We've just got a few people left. What is going on? They're down. Who are we waiting for? No, we did kill them, finally. I have no idea what was going on. I was just up and down with that camera constantly. You don't actually need that many, though, for the boat. Will 10 do it? Let's try 10. Yeah, 10 easily does it. So that boat... Boat? That boat is very light. Oh, they need to shoot that guy, though. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. He's just gone. And uh, now he's come back down. And he's dead. Okay, they're awesome. The balloon archers, 
best unit they have ever put into this game. Absolutely best unit. Much better than the firework archers. They're awesome. Anything else that we can make fly? Should we have a flying king? And a catapult. Let's see what happens. Okay, the king's heavy. Wow. Okay. Let's come out of that then, because I don't want them getting distracted by the catapult. Can they make him fly? I mean, he slows down a bit. But you definitely need more than that. Okay. Finally, an interesting one. I didn't think the king would be that heavy. Maybe it's the uh, weight of his crown. And I am looking in the wrong section. There we go. Let's do 20 then. Let's go. Yep, there we go. We've got a flying king. Look at him go. I absolutely love these guys. They are so awesome. They are so cool. <laughs> Look at him just upside down. Oh my god. I love this game. When they put things like this into this game, it's just... It's one of the best games ever. It really is. This is just awesome. Okay. Well, let's move on to the secret then. Because I don't think there's anything really down in here that's worth making fly. So... Let's do the Giants. Let's start Samurai Giant. 20 Balloon Archers. Um, he's not flying. I think double will make him fly. I think double will get him. So, Balloon Archers. Well, we'll try 30 first of all. You never know. I mean, he's hanging around. Yeah, I think it's going to have to be 40. I think 40 will be getting him flying. Yeah, there we go. There goes the Samurai Giant. Look at him. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome. This is so cool. Look at all those arrows in him as well. He doesn't stand a chance. Oh, bless him. Bless the guy. Okay, time to put in good old Groot. That's basically what the tree giant is now, is just Groot. After the uh, Marvel Heroes one, yeah, that's Groot. Simple as that. 40 balloon archers. Oh, he's a bit heavier than the samurai one. But they have got him floating and now doing backflips. So yeah, 40 can take him down. And once again, I don't think he stands a chance. Yeah, he died. Just as I quit out anyway. But now for the true test. The big guy. The big ice giant. I don't think 40 is going to be enough. We're going to give it a go though. Yeah, not a chance. Not a chance with 40 of them. He's still just going. I'm wondering whether he'll actually win. Or whether they will be able to kill him before he gets there. What's he going to do? Hey, he got some punches off. Wow. He is strong. He is so strong. He needs to kill him faster, though, because the, the amount of arrows going into him, he's got to kill him faster. He should have gone for the big group rather than these ones over here. I think he is going to die, but he's taking his time going down. Taking his time. He is ridiculously strong. Don't tell me he's going to win. You can't win. Surely. Surely you can't win. Well, looks like he's going to win. He won. Bloody hell. Jesus, he's strong. Okay, well, thought he won enough. Jesus. Okay, let's do 60. We're not going to let it go on that long this time. We're just going to see whether they can get him to fly. No, not really. Okay, let's move up to 80. Let's go. 80 arrows in him. 80 balloons. Bloody hell. Okay, we're going to need more. Jesus Christ. What, 100? No, it can't be 100. Just... They can just get him off the ground. 100 of them can just get him off the ground. 
That is crazy. Oh, there we go. He's going now. He's going. Should we see how fast we can make him go up before he dies? Let's go. It's going to lag the game out massively. <laughs> but we're going to go for 150. 150. And he is going up. We're all good. He is going up. He didn't go that far, though. And it is massively laggy for me. Still pretty cool, though. Still pretty cool that it's taken that many to lift him up. Like, he is really heavy. That's crazy. Okay. So, now we need to think of one last huge final battle to finish the video. I'm thinking... Let's go... The Da Vinci Cannon. I think it's got to be Da Vinci Cannon. And... Some Jousters. Against... Where's the Halflings? There they are. Let's just do rows and rows and rows of Halflings. We need to get to 100. Two more. I don't really want to have to... There we go. So we have got one Da Vinci Cannon... Two Jousters versus 100 Halflings. This is going to be a massacre. Let's go. Off we go. Look, I'm just plowing. That Da Vinci Cannon, though. I want to see what actually happens when they get to the Da Vinci Cannon and hold on. Look at them. <laughs> they just grab it and fly around. Oh, my God. It's like human fall flat. When you jump onto the spinny thing and it just throws you off. You've still got one horse over there. Nope, we did have two. We've now got one, and he's just thrown himself off the edge. So, well done to him. No, he's back. This is still spinning like crazy. Oh, I have no idea what's going on with this. That is just an absolute beast. It really is. Look at them. They're actually inside some of them. <laughs> they managed to get inside just flying around. What is happening? This is going to be interesting to see who wins, though. I'm kind of rooting for the halflings at this point, just because of how powerful that thing is. I have no idea, though. I think it is. I think the Da Vinci tank is going to just absolutely destroy them. There's no stopping it. No stopping it. Come on. Oh, yes! The halflings won! Just. There couldn't have been many left. There could not have been many left. There is one thing that the developers need to put into this game. is at the end here. Show a tally. Show how many units were left on the winning side. Because I don't want to have to go around and try and look at all their eyes to see who's alive. I know he is. Bless him. But, yeah. That was awesome. I absolutely love some of these new units. They're insane. Oh, just quickly, before we go... One more thing. I said about the balconies, so we're going to have to test it out quickly. Let's test it out with... Can we put them on there? We can. So we could put some of those on. That's quite cool. You could use the balcony. Let's put on some balloon archers. And then we'll just grab some clubbers and just do a group down there. Just quickly do that. See what happens. Okay, well, that was stupid. They all just walked off the edge. And then they suddenly realised, Oh, there's stairs behind me. Oh. Bloody idiots. So, you could put them on the balcony. Does fuck all, though. Really does. They just walk off. Why not just stay up there and just shoot down? Where did they... Wait, did they? <laughs> awesome. Look at this. Look at them going up the stairs. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Look at the balloons go. Oh my god, I can't get enough of the balloons. I really can't. I mean, the archers are going to die because of these guys. But look at them go. So many balloons. If I weren't going to get done for copyright, I'd definitely do 99 red balloons as the backing track for this. But I'd end up getting done for copyright, so I can't. But it would have been awesome to do it. So, while you're watching this bit, go back, watch it again, and just play that in the background. Because that will just be awesome. I don't really know what's happening. They're all trying to beat him down. Did they get him? I think they did. Oh, we've got the uh, muskets now. 
they're rubbish though. The muskets. They they don't fo they don't reload fast enough. Look, he's just spazzing out like crazy, and yeah, they're not that great. The balloon archers are definitely get the title for best unit ever. They really do. But yeah, that was the new update for tabs. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop that like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any future awesome content. I am rebranding my channel, so eventually you won't be able to search for Trident of Triton to be able to find my videos anymore once I change my name. So definitely subscribe. That way you won't miss the name change and then get all confused when you can't find my videos. Peace out.